In order to use the normal CDF function to calculate normal probabilities, we first have to find it in the calculator. And it's under the distributions menu, so we hit second and the vars key, which brings that up. We will never use normal PDF. We're only going to use normal CDF in this class. Normal CDF is going to take two inputs, which is, will be a lower z-score and an upper z-score. So if we want to calculate the area between two values, as in example one, we take the lower z-score, which in that case was negative 0.45, and then hit comma, because that separates our inputs, 1.28. When you press enter, it will find the total area underneath the normal distribution curve between those two values. If you need to do an area to the left, pull up the same function, normal CDF. You just need to give a lower bound that represents negative infinity. Negative 10 is small enough to represent negative infinity. If you want to use something larger, make it 10,000, whatever you prefer. You're not going to get any different answers. Do be careful, however. The calculator does distinguish a negative from a uh, minus sign. And if you put a minus 10, it's going to give you an error message. So make sure you're hitting the negative, which is right below the 3. So negative 10 to 1.13 is what was in example 2 of the textbook. And if we calculate that, we get 0 0.8708 when rounded to four decimal places. For an area to the right, it's no different. Pull up your normal CDF function. This time the lower bound is the z-score that's provided. And because you want the area to the right, you're going to go to positive infinity, so up to positive 10. Press enter, and we get the answer of 0.7486 when rounded to four decimals.